Now, since these two colleges are young colleges, they started only 2014 and 2015. No? So we had no experience on taking the board exams with the students. So we really had quite difficult time in trying to get the appropriate uh, review, review classes for them. Actually, the preparation for these courses takes a lot of time. It's not only for the board, but during the course of their study, they have to prepare even before. Of course, we are so happy and elated, and of course, very thankful to the Almighty for having these blessings. First time to take the board, these batches, and we got 100% for board. That is quite uh, surprising, not really surprising, but really very, very uh, exciting for us. Now, at the same time, it is a challenge that we have to keep it up. Uh, it is always a challenge to uh, be at par with what we started. Because if you started 100, therefore, you should not go below 100. Now, specifically for the College of Medicine, when it started in 2014, a year before that, we had already crafted a curriculum, which is very different from other medical schools. One difference is from the time that they got the first year, they are already uh, exposed to the community. We have a lot of programs for the community. And second, we had introduced an innovative program called the Medical Humanities in order to produce doctors with compassion, empathy, and more humane to, to patients and to people. That is not found in any other uh, medical schools. Now, this is the reason why we don't accept transferees. If they transfer, they have to start from first year. Uh, because of that reason, because we have quite a different approach to the study of medicine. The prerequisite is actually the same as the other medical schools. They must finish a four-year college course, but we don't require a Bachelor of Science. It, it could be any four-year course. It could be anything, but it should be a four-year course, college course. Second, they must pass the interview, and of course we consider the general weighted average. We don't take averages that are too low. And most important is the passing of the so-called NMAT, the National Medical Admissions Test. And the score, we had set a limit that was quite low already. It's uh, not below 40. See, it could be higher, but we, should, we do not admit uh, uh, applicants with NMAT below 40. Una, isang taos puso pa sa salamat sa Panginoon Diyos sapagkat kung hindi dahil sa Kanya, hindi namin magagawa ito. Hindi magagawa ng mga estudyante. Kaya nga bago dumating yun, two weeks ay may panata kami, mga estudyante at mga faculty, at nananalangin doon sa dalawang courses na yun. At pangalawa, sa ating tagapamahalan pangkalatan sa kapatid na Eduardo Manalo, sa kanyang suporta sa dalawang kolehiyo ito at sa lahat ng kolehiyo dito sa Health Sciences, sa mga faculty of course, na, at mga magulang na nagtiwala sa amin na mag-enroll dito na kanilang mga anak. And of course, I am inviting the parents to let their children study here, medicine, because we promise since there are few students, we could really guide them very closely.